Okay, welcome to a new episode of Nate's MMA Corner. I'm Nate, and if you watch my show, you're in my corner. Today's episode's a pre-fight show for UFC 192. Cormier versus Gustafsson for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Yeah, wow. Um, I was going to film this episode yesterday, and I'm so glad I didn't. I'm so glad I waited till today, because... For those of you that don't know, the co-main event has changed. It was originally going to be Johnny Big Rig Hendricks versus Tyrone Woodley, uh, top contendership, uh, welterweight clash, the 170 pounders. And yeah, Johnny Hendricks, he had, uh, he had stomach issues, basically, um, stones in his, uh, kidneys, kidney stones it looks like, and he was in pain, uh, due to the weight cut. And he had to pull out, and Tyrone Woodley was without an opponent. And it looks like he's that much closer to a welterweight title shot now. Um, so our new co-main event is Ryan Bader versus Rashad Evans, which was still on this main card, but just moved up a notch to the co-main event. And then a prelim fight got uh, moved up to the main card. And... Um, yeah, which that looks like it was uh, the Sean Jordan uh, fight was moved up to the main card from the prelims. Yeah, so this uh, this card's still really stacked, still has a lot of good fights. And um, yeah, just, oh yeah, some changes made to this card. But still a star-studded card top to bottom. You got Derek Lewis uh, kicking off the fight pass prelims, and then to end it up, uh, you have uh, the light heavyweight title fight. Yeah, so um, top to bottom, veterans and superstars and great fighters uh, filling this card. So, yeah, this is a pre-fight show for the main card. Let's get started. Let's, uh, yeah, as usual, do my predictions and give a rundown of the main card. So, let's start off with Let's move our, our way up the ladder of the main card. Let's start off with the first main card match on this exciting pay-per-view. Uh, Jessica I versus Juliana Pena. Yeah, this fight, I am picking uh, Juliana Pena submission round two, I think. The first round is a stand-up battle for the first half of the round, and then second half of the first round is Juliana Pena. Gets a takedown, gets full mount, because she loves that position. And just guy does some good job defending it, and then that ends the first round. And then I'm predicting that second round, Juliana uses her strikes to set up a takedown, uh, get full mount again, and then go in for uh, submission. I am guessing eventually, possibly take her back, and then uh, sink in a rear naked choke. Yeah, so I'm. Um, Predicting uh, Juliana Pena submission round two, but I like both these fighters and it sucks to see someone has to win someone has to lose so um, I'll be insanely happy if Jessica I wins. I mean she's amazing. Both these people are amazing. I've met them both and um, Yeah, so I'm picking Juliana Pena because she just she loves her wrestling and she loves that full mount and she's really really good at it Um if she doesn't get it right away, she'll get it eventually. Yeah, then uh, in the flyweight division, also on the main card, we have Joseph Benavides versus Ali Bogotinov. Yeah, Ali is coming off that uh, big loss to Demetrius Johnson. And then, you know, he tested positive for performance-enhancing drugs. And he got, he got dominated still by Demetrius Johnson each and every round. Uh, he had no answer for Demetrius Johnson. And I think this is the same thing. Um, I think Ollie won't be on the performance enhancing uh, drugs this time. And it'll be that much harder for him to uh, win this fight because of that. And yeah, Joseph Benavides is right up there with Demetrius Johnson in terms of best flyweights out there. Uh, I mean, obviously, DJ's the best because he's a champ, but, you know, people, anyone would say, you know, Joseph is that number two, number three, number four guy. 
and Ollie's not in that top four or five. So Joseph Benavides, I believe, gets it done. He uses footwork. He works uh, clinch strikes when Ollie tries to use his sambo wrestling, and um, he keeps distance. He pushes the pace. He uh, finds his reach. He works his boxing. His his great hands, and he outpoints Ollie to a unanimous decision victory. So there you have it. I have Joseph Benavides winning against Ali uh, by unanimous decision. I have him winning pretty much every round. Um, if there's a judge that's having an off day, then there might be a 29-28. But I think for the most part, uh, Joseph should get a 30-27 across the board on this unanimous decision. That's my prediction for this fight. Yeah, then... Um, we have, uh, uh, yeah, let's see here. We, yeah, we got Ruslan Magomedov versus Sean Jordan. Now, Ruslan, you know, he trains uh, at American Kickboxing Academy, and he got uh, Daniel Cormier uh, primed and ready for his title fight, which is the main event. And he trains with uh, the former heavyweight champ, Kane, so, you know, Ruslam has some good training partners. And then you got uh, Sean Jordan, uh, who, you know, he has heavy hands. He trains with Greg Jackson, and he's just, you know, he's, he's, he's a great striker. He's a great heavyweight striker. But I think uh, Magomedov, he, is a, he will be able to get the takedowns. He will be able to get the ground and pounds. And Sean Jordan won't know what comes to him. I want Sean Jordan to win this fight, but I think uh, Magomedov gets the fight done by unanimous decision. Uh, easily 29-28, if not 30-27 unanimous decision. So, um, yeah, I think he gets the ground and pound each round and uses strikes set up to takedowns. And cut and paste, cut and paste, repeat process. Sean Jordan might be able to get back up once or twice. But uh, Sean Jordan's best bet to win this fight is first round knockout. Don't let it go the distance. Then um, in the co-main event, we have Ryan Bader versus Rashad Evans. Now this fight I went back and forth on because I feel like if Ryan Bader connects on Rashad Evans, he can knock him out. And I think Rashad Evans could knock out Ryan Bader. But it's more likely if there's going to be a knockout, it's going to be Ryan Bader knock out Rashad Evans. Um, however, I think Rashad has a better footwork. Rashad has the way better head movement. I think Ryan Bader leaves his head out there way too much. Uh, but Ryan Bader can take a punch. They both have great uh, high school wrestling background, collegiate wrestling background. Uh, they're both All-American wrestlers. They're both veterans of the sport. They both won Ultimate Fighter um, seasons. Uh, Rashad winning season two. Ryan Bader winning season eight. Yeah, so this this is a fairly good even matchup in terms of rankings and credentials and whatnot. But I think uh, with this fight, it's close. But I'm going to go with Rashad Evans. 51% chance of winning this fight by unanimous decision. And 49% chance... Uh, Ryan Bader wins this fight by knockout in the first or second round. But um, I'm leaning slightly towards uh, Rashad Evans getting this. And I'm a fan of both these guys, so I'm, I'm happy either way. So, yeah, I'll, I'll say my pick to win this, barely, barely by this much margin, Rashad Evans gets the unanimous decision victory. Uh, just outpoints him and maybe gets a takedown or two late in the fight because Ryan Bader's takedown defense in the first round, round and a half, will be real good. So I got uh, Rashad Evans winning by unanimous decision on this. Then in the main event, it's Alexander the Mahler Gustafsson versus Daniel Cormier for the UFC light heavyweight title, the 205-pound title. Yeah, uh, this one, you know, it's like this. Uh, I, you know... In theory, DC has a slightly better Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu uh, than Alexander. Uh, 
and DC has the better wrestling, obviously. However, uh, Alexander has uh, age advantage, reach advantage, height advantage. Um, yeah, so, you know, this fight is, yeah, like Dana said, it's Alexander the striker versus Daniel Cormier, the grappler, the wrestler. And, um, yeah, I think that uh, the first couple rounds, Alexander needs to uh, use footwork, look for the knockout. Uh, because DC will be tough in the first couple rounds. If it goes to round four and five, I think Alexander has upper hands if it goes to round four and five. But I think um, Daniel Cormier gets it done round three submission. I think he weather, weathers a storm with Alexander for the first couple rounds and then he eventually uh, finds way with the grappling and gets a takedown and gets ground and pound and then gets a submission. I'm picking yeah, guillotine or rear rear naked choke. Uh, maybe an arm bar. Maybe he he works those uh, long limbs of Alexander. Um, maybe a heel hook, but that's probably not going to happen. But could it's possible. Um, so I have uh, Cormier winning by some sort of submission in round three. But. As some of you know, I'm a diehard Alexander Gustafsson fan, so I hope he wins, and I hope he wins by a big, flashy knockout. So, there you have it. There's my predictions for this uh, main card. Stay tuned for my next episode, which will be a post-fight episode for this. And, yeah, Alexis, if you're watching, there you have it. I picked Rashad Evans. I know you're a Rashad Evans fan. And so am I, and you'll be happy to know that I picked Rashad to win this fight. So, anyways, until then, uh, see ya, and yeah, stay tuned for my post-fight episode of this main card. Till then, see ya.